Hello guys and welcome back. Um, I trust you are all doing well and, you, and hopefully most of you guys are following to our Facebook page and keeping track of all the updates that we have posted with regards to this uh, subject in particular. So today we are looking at um, module 10, uh, business literacy. Um, when you look at this topic, you're going to see that um, this topic has quite a number of uh, interesting concepts um, which they are loved by the examiner a lot. And of one particular a topic of interest which you always encounter uh, most uh, business literacy exam is the break-even analysis. Um, so what I will just do is that I am going to walk you through the example that is provided in your, you know, page 304. Sometimes uh, most of you guys I know others they just see figures but they don't understand where the figures are coming from and where they are going. So uh, hopefully after this video you will be able to to attempt the exercises that are in the textbook and also be able to understand how they uh, came about with the answers that they provided you, right? So, first things first, we need to understand exactly what does pre-given analysis even mean? What does it mean? So, we need to start in one point, that pre-given point, right? This is a point where the company neither makes a profit or a loss, right? This is a point where the company neither makes a profit or loss or in simpler terms here uh, where total revenue is equal to total cost. So this is a point is where the company neither makes a profit or a loss. Um, then uh, a break-even point analysis is now used to determine um, how, how many number of units do we need to produce in order for us to cover both our fixed and variable costs? How many number of units do we need? So that is the break-even uh, point analysis all about. Um, at what point should we start or at what capacity should we, should we produce in order to, to break even or to even start making profit and stuff? So that's why break-even point analysis is very important was a make or break for the company. Um, so one of the terms uh, that are of relevance is uh, fixed costs, right? These are costs which are constant uh, with the varying output. So irrespective of how many units you produce, fixed costs will always remain constant. So you can produce zero units, but you still need to pay rental. You still need to pay electricity uh, and, 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 and so forth. Um, and then uh, the other cost element is variable cost. So variable cost, they do vary uh, with increased production or with, with increased output. So as we are going through the, the example, you're going to pick up some of the of the items that I have explained for you in, in brief. Uh, so let us see here. Um, so if you check your page on page 304, they put in this chat for you, the break even chat. So like I said, this is what we are going to go through, just discussing basically how did they calculate this amount, how did it come about, right? So uh, just to get started. So um, for question one, right, we want to know basically uh, how did they calculate their total revenue? Basically, how much revenue um, do we need uh, to, to, to to break even, right? Um, so we're going to take um, total total revenue, which is represented by TR, right? Is equal to right? Just twenty-four thousand. 24,000 uh, division, so I'm going to use that one. Okay, I just use this one. 24,000 divided by 2,000 uh, times Q. Right? Times Q. Okay. 
So where are they getting the twenty-four thousand? Right. Let's say at what point are we going to break even? Right. That's the point where our total revenue and total costs meet. Right. So here, this here is the breakup point. I hope you can see with the mouse here, guys. I hope you can see. So here is the breakup point. So we need to sell that much, right? Sell or produce that much in units. It end this much of revenue to break even. So that is the point where total cost and total revenue meet. So here. We divide the so TR is equal to twelve Q right. So weight TR is equals to total revenue. And Q is equals to unit sales, and how did you become? Uh, did you get the uh, twelve? Just yes, say twenty-four thousand uh, divided by two thousand. You go to our figure, right? Simple and straightforward, guys. Then the next aspect was asking you what is the variable cost? What is the variable cost? I want you guys to notice something. I want you guys to notice something. Our variable cost varies with what with the production cost. So if we produce, I just want you to notice if we produce a thousand, right? If we produce a thousand units, our variable cost is what is uh, is, is is eight. Uh, that's one thousand divided by what? by that particular amount, and so if we produce one thousand five hundred again. Okay, that's one thousand five hundred divided by that amount. Uh, you're still gonna get eight. Two thousand year, you're always gonna get eight. And two point five, you're gonna get that amount. Now, so the total variable cost function can be expressed as follows, right? Um, where is our aspect? So run the okay. okay. Total variable cost. So we say. Twenty-eight thousand, right? Three point five there divided by with with the twenty-eight thousand. Twenty-eight thousand divided by divided by the minus the sign divided by three thousand five hundred. Eight Q. Eight Q. Eight Q. Eight Q. Eight Q. So remember, Q is a representation of what is a representation of the unit sold. It is the representation of the unit sold. So this is how you calculate your variable cost per unit. Your variable cost per unit, right? Um, then the next item that we're going to look at now is the total cost function. The total cost function. Total cost function. Total cost function. Right? So total cost function we are told. TC is equal to fix plus variable variable cost, right? So in this particular sense here, how much is a is a, is, a, is our fixed cost? How much is our fixed cost? That's very simple. Fixed cost. Please take note. Fixed costs are always constant at eight thousand. They don't change. So T C is equals to eight thousand plus eight Q. Eight Q. Simple and straightforward guys. 
don't overthink and overstress. I hope you guys can see where we are getting our figures from. If you have got any questions you don't understand, please pop us an email and I will greatly assist. So, if we need to calculate net profit, right? If we need to calculate net profit, how cool do we go about it? So, remember, NP is equals to T TR minus TC, right? TR, TR for total revenue, TC for total costs, right? So now let's do substitution. So NP uh, is equals to TR, TR is uh, total revenue, we go to what? 12Q, right? 12Q minus the 8,000. 8,000 plus 8Q. 8Q. There we close the brackets there. So NP is equal to train and 12Q. 12Q. Minus eight eight thousand. So basically, if you are removing a, a, a minus, if you are going to remove the minus times the minus space, always going to be minus eight. There, I will just simply just make minus eight q. So please go back and refer to the topic on negatives and positives there um, so uh, only now we need like something like this uh, 12q uh, minus 8q right? minus 8000 okay. so np is equals like for like that will be left as 4q minus 8000 so that's how your net profit would look like then 4q that's q for quantity or units sold right then the next item that we're going to look at is gross profit Gross profit or marginal income. Gross profit. So, gross profit or marginal income uh, is equal to TR minus V. Right? So, that is marginal income. TR is what is equivalent to 4Q. Remember, we are finding TR total revenue is here. That's what we calculated here. Don't forget. And 4Q minus. Are we getting 8q? Here's our 8q, that's our value for variable costs. Right, minus 8q. So, mi is equals to 4q. 4q, 4q, there we go. Right. So, if you check on your page, uh, 306 on page 306 they gave you an example or an illustration where they say that by using the net profit function one could solve the problem 
um, such as what is the expected net profit if 18,000 units of the product uh, of the product were to be sold. 18,000 units were to be sold. So we need to substitute. We need to substitute 18,000 for for Q, right? So we want to calculate net profit. So what was the our formula? Substitute. Let's see. Okay. What if? Okay. I'm going to put that in highlighting for you. What if 18,000 products produced? Do substitution there and do substitution there. So we already have our, our formula there. So for Q, we're going to substitute for what we thought. And I put 18,000 there. Okay, and close brackets. There. Then NP. NP is equals to. This equals to 64,000. Okay, please just punch this in your calculator. The 4 times 18,000 minus 8,000. 4 times 8,000 minus 8,000. It must give you this 64,000. If it doesn't agree, guys, please let me know. Let me know and I'll quickly look into it. Right? Then Another example too, they also told you that okay, by using the marginal income function, one would solve the problem. Uh, calculate the marginal income if 105,000 units were to be sold, right? If 105,000 units are to be sold, right? There we go. Now you we do have our formula already, right? Okay. So guys, in case you are wondering where are you getting this thing, I'm getting this figure stay on page 306 of the textbook for your business literacy textbook. So this figure is not coming out of my head. Uh, just uh, trying out different scenarios so that you understand how to do this. Okay, cool. Then you jump, we need to substitute that, right? For Q. Now, where this Q we must put what? 105,000. So multiply 4 times 105,000, you must get M is equal to 420,000. Simple and straightforward, guys. It doesn't get any simpler than this. So hopefully I have explained to you the real and easy way of calculating uh, break-even analysis or break-even chart. So pay visit to page 308 and attempt the question for yourself. Try page 308, attempt the question for yourself. If you are stuck, please let me know and I will assist in, in, in the most simpler and easy way uh, so don't be shy feel free open up talk to us and we will assist you uh, thank you guys for watching uh, see you in the next episode